Well, this is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. Stay with us. We'll have all the action for you live right here on EA TV. Well, just the sort of weather the fans were hoping for this evening. It's absolutely ideal. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the technical and tactical analysis, is Stuart Robson. And excited to be bringing you match day one action at the Euros. It's Portugal, and they take on Czechia. Well, these teams know they cannot afford to drop points today. It's so important they are consistent throughout the group stages if they want to progress further in the tournament. Should be tense, Derek. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Well, it's regarded as a negative shape. If they control the middle of the park, play some expansive football, the wide players can then come in field to join the centre forward and the fullbacks can push on. Let's hope they do that today. And the starting 11 for Czechia. Well, as you can see, they're playing with a front two. Three central midfield players and a couple of wing-backs. It's a great system when played well, but it does leave them vulnerable to switches of play. And the game begins. Well, I'm not sure about you, Stuart, but I always think it's fascinating to dissect Portugal ahead of a big international tournament. Euro winners back in 2016, beaten finalists in 2004 when they lost against Greece. How about this incarnation of Portugal? How well equipped might they be to win it all? Well, what I like about Portugal is they've got attacking quality all over the front. Oh, Stuart, opportunity here! And it goes! That will do nicely for starters. First goal! Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. And he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. And the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Palinha, the ball with Ottavio. And really closing him down here. What a good place to win it back, and let's see what it leads to. Preferring to go infield. Can he finish this? Oh, there it is! A back and forth sort of match. Now they're level again. The lead line. Well, here we can see it again, and he does so well to skip beyond the defender. It just buys him that bit of time to get his shot away. That's a really nice goal. Oh. 
So in business once more on the back of that very important equaliser. 1-1. Tomasz Socek. Well, Portugal might be onto something. Fernandes. Moving forward effectively. Not a very complicated catch for the keeper. Antonin Barak. Tomasz Socek. Klozek. Very effective passing sequence. Look, look as though they had attacking momentum, but not so. Come as a free kick here. But well, he dealt with that ball played in rather well. Sadilek. Still an opportunity. Well, it's a pretty low line at the moment. Could cross it in here. Excellent defending. Now, perhaps they can counter from here. Leal. On to Bruno Fernandes. To jump in front. Oh, yes! A goal! Exactly what they were looking for. And he's come up with it. Well, just watch this again. Look how Fernandez beats his man. And Bernardo Silva, what a clever bit of play it is from him, both with his movement and his finish. That's a nice goal. So there we have it, 2-1. Antonin Barak. So check. Well, possession seeded. Palinha. Can he find the right pass? Can he convert? Well, somehow. The goalkeeper got to it. And a short corner, let's see. Otavio. Well, he gave it quite the blast, but nowhere close to the goal. Well, it wasn't superb distribution by the keeper, that we can say. Oh, he's through here! Well, plenty of power, but just too much height on it. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game.
Well, a lot to like about Bernardo Silva and his performance so far. What have you made of it? Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the play. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. A chance to whip it in. And thumped away. It was anything but. Not great distribution from the keeper. David Dudera. Long way at this. Oh, goodness gracious me. It's a special, special goal from miles out. Well, as you can see, this is a great bit of skill. He hits it perfectly, doesn't he? That's a brilliant strike. And level again here. This has been quite the roller coaster ride. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Antonin Barak. Tomas Tvanchera. A chance for him to get in behind, maybe. Sadilek, well, not great on the accuracy front. Goal kick here. use of the substitutes bench it's a short one and a decent delivery and a no-nonsense clearance can he put them in front well simple for the keeper Rafael Leao. Bruno Fernandes has it. Portugal pushing forward with options available. Bruno Fernandes. Can they get themselves in front here? Oh, it's a wild, wild finish. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes. And now both sides will make personnel switches. <laughs> David Dudera. So check. Teams are locked together. Will it stay that way following this corner? So a personnel change then. Delivering it. And in a crowded area, the keeper has managed to get there. Diogo Jota. On the ball, Joao Felix. 
Well, time just challenged magnificently. Well, good run, this. Now, what can he do with it? It's not lost on them what a goal could mean at this late stage. Could play it in. And he favours the inside routes. Sadilek. Must be. Oh, they've done it. They've forged ahead. And it might be the goal that gets them victory. Well, here it is again. The through ball is absolutely inch perfect. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. dramatic moment near the end and that might well be the decider they get forward but time is very much against them here when it comes down to the final five minutes Sadilek good looking move could be they've only gone and grabbed another one two goals in quick succession now they have the lead no wonder they're celebrating. Well, just watch this again. It's a really good goal, but it's no surprise, is it? They've been in complete control here. The current scoreline, 4-2. Otavio. Diogo Dallo on the ball. And three minutes of stoppage time to be added on. Tomas Socek. David Dudera. Oh, good run and good ball control. Oh, that's a super piece of defending. The final whistle, and it's gone the wrong way for Portugal in this one. Not at all the result they were hoping for. Stuart, sum it up for us.